The atmosphere was electric as dawn broke on the final day of Targa Great Barrier Reef. Crowds lined the route and watched in awe as crews battled for podium honours. As crowds descended en masse to see the day's opening stage, Karanda Range, Rainforest Station put on a Father's Day breakfast for fans, all eager to see Targa cars hitting the stage. One of the day's toughest battles took place in Classic, with second place Lee Achterberg and Greg Fitzgerald taking time out of Ashley Yelds and Charlie Hughes. In the end, however, it was the Volvo that prevailed, taking victory by just two seconds. All week, the times between us have been two and three seconds. It's just been absolutely uh, a real, real battle uh, between three us. Days, three days racing, 11 seconds between us. The early modern ledger was turned on its head, with Tony Quinn and Kate Catford's retirement with overheating issues. This promoted Anthony Ginocchio and Scott Hamilton to their first Targa podium, narrowly behind local identity and rally icon Ross Dunkerton, with co-driver Alan Steen. Even they, however, couldn't overhaul Liam and Larry Howarth, who took the win in their Nissan GDR. Surprise, surprise here. We thought we're coming in for second. No problem after a fairly good event. Looked on the phone, next minute we know we're first in class. Father's Day present to my dad here. So the champagne and the trophy, that's what he's, that's what he's getting tonight. In Classic GT, Mick Downey and Jared Acker turned up the wick again, closing the gap to Mick and Daniel Bray. It wasn't enough, however. The Bray's coming home with 29 seconds in hand. We're just happy to uh, stay in front of uh, Mr Downey once again. Don't get me wrong, he's absolutely pushed us all the way. Uh, we knew we were potentially been in trouble this afternoon if we ran those last two stages. The GT Sports Trophy battle also went down to the wire. Mechanical issues consigned the Trevathan and Lord Commodore to third behind a pair of Lotuses. The Ringgits finishing second just behind the Maletta Pulos. The Lotus is just fantastic over these sorts of roads. Yeah, it was a really good day and, and we pushed hard and, and I guess we you know, finished up in the right spot, so we're, we're pretty chuffed. Thoroughbred Trophy saw the alpha of early event leaders Coleman and Richardson overhauled. The Commodore of Cairns locals Tim and Kim Hall charging to claim the top step of the podium. It's our first time we've ever done anything like this, we're full on rookies. So once we got into the feel of it, we just slowly hunted them down until we did the jump in front. Rob Bryden and Doc Lang charged into third in TSD, behind Peter and Tristan Taylor in another Lotus. However, it was the Marshals who took a narrow but decisive victory. Completely different event to anything else we've run. Very, very challenging. I think it's going to um, be a fixture on the calendar. How fantastic has this event been for everybody who's turned out, supported us, but also enjoyed the cars. Just been a brilliant, brilliant event. The competition in GT4 was intense throughout the day, with the Stokes Subaru and the Hewitt's Nissan pushing to close the gap to the leaders. However, Mark Balcom and Brian Foster managed their lead, holding on to a 14 second gap and earning the right to climb onto the top step of the podium. Yeah, it's been a bit of a tussle. We've made a few mistakes, been a bit rusty along the way. Uh, I suppose we had to get into a headspace after our crash in Target Tasmania. We've overcome that and it's fantastic to have a win finally. In one of the most exciting contests of the event, the dueling lotuses of Paul Stokel and Malcolm Reed and Jeff Morton and Cameron Reeves thrilled fans as they charged through the stages. Sitting on the start line of the final stage, they were separated by a single second but it was Stokel who dug deepest, ending the event with a six second advantage and putting himself into the lead of the Australian Targa Championship. Out in front though, it was Jason and John White who stole the show. Their Viper taking decisive GT2 and outright wins in the very first Targa Great Barrier Reef. Well, it all comes down to planning and planning and planning and uh, Jason coming up here and actually writing the notes and doing the homework and, as I say, planning. I think we put everything we could into it and there was certainly no walk in the park, so it was one of the very rewarding ones, but certainly the event that was put on here is going to be one of those things that awesomeness is measured by for a while. It was something that was really good to be a part of. With champagne showers capping off an incredible inaugural event, crews celebrated well into the evening. We'll be back from November 9 to 11 for the final round of the CAMS Australian Targa Championship, Victoria's Targa High Country.